Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Helena and I'm a third year medical student and today I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag video. I really love this bag. Um, I've had this bag for about I'll say a year or two and the reason why I love it is because it's versatile so you can wear it as a handbag or a backpack. So initially I used to be the type of girl that take the handbag to placement trying to look cute and stuff and then it got to like midway through like first year second year and now third year and now this is literally the most efficient bag for me mainly because i can actually decide if i want to wear it as a handbag like this you guys can see or a backpack like here so it's got a pocket here and it's got like a little flap so you can actually cover it up over here where you can put like a water bottle or flask. So I like the fact that the zip is on the inside. This video will be like the stuff I take to either placement or lecture. So if you do like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let's, I'm gonna start off with the sides. Okay, first thing here is my ID badge. So um, I always take this ID badge, put it on my neck usually. I don't know who I thought it was, but anyways, this is my badge which I take to placement and also um, on campus too. Let's see what else I've got. I've got chewing gum um, that's needed sometimes. And I just got a bunch of coins for you. I also got a hairband here. Um, this is useful when like obviously to tie your hair back, especially on placement, you don't want your hair, especially long hair. So I usually tie it back um, during placement. Okay, let's open the main bag. So. start off with so I've got my pencil case here I've got quite a few pens in here and I, I don't know why here I was in school when you have like a clear pencil case funny enough I still have a clear pencil case until now I think it's mainly because in exams it's just easy to have a clear pencil case you can see exactly what you've got in there so I've got a few black pens a few colored pens as well I do like to take a few pens because trust me guys you find out that your black pens go missing like this everyone knows someone that borrows your pen and never gives it back yeah you know who you are <laughs> i've also got a diary this is my 2020 diary that i take to placement why i like this diary is that each day has its own page so you can write as much as you want in there i do take this to lectures as well because i'm currently paperless at the moment so i use my ipads for notes so if i desperately need to write something i'll use this and to be fair, I have more than one diary. So this is mainly the diary that I take to like uni. I do have another one for more like to-do lists and stuff like that. So yeah, this is quite small. That's why I like taking this one. Okay, so the next thing is my purse. Um, so I've got my purse here. Sometimes I try and avoid taking this purse only because it's quite big. Occasionally, I do take some things out of this purse and put it into a smaller purse and just, or just take a few cards with me. But occasionally I just take my whole purse. <laughs> Okay, next I've got a water bottle in here. And I think this is, let me see. So this can fill up to 800 milliliters. It's good to take water, obviously. Especially on campus, they do have um, sections where you can refill your bottle. So I tend to take this with me. Um, also just to encourage myself to drink more water. Sometimes for some reason when it's in here, it doesn't feel like you're drinking that much, but yeah. Next I've got my flask and I take this flask mainly to put like hot water to make my tea or coffee to feel like I'm more of a tea kind of person than coffee and the reason why I do like this is I could actually make my tea in here and kind of like drink from this part here I've got my legendary you know stethoscope I love this stethoscope I remember when I first got it I was so excited so this stethoscope was actually given to me by my mum for my birthday present which i absolutely love 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 i got a video about my stethoscope i did like an unboxing video and a review about this stethoscope i'm not sure if you guys can actually see but it's actually gray so it's a gray stethoscope i think this is why i actually got this i wanted a very simple color i don't know i wasn't brave enough to get like a color that stands out if you do want to watch a review about my stethoscope i will link it up here somewhere um, Yes, yeah, so wait, up here somewhere. I can't remember this on this side, but oh, I've got a mask. So I've got a couple masks here. Yeah, like, you know, during COVID now, all you do pretty much is wear a mask. 
So I've got um, some like surgical mask here for protection really. Um, Cause now literally everywhere you go, you need to wear a mask. So it's like the new norm now. So next I have hand sanitizer. So I have literally two. I'm not sure why I have two in my bag, but I have two. Got these mini hand sanitizer that I put in my bag here. Even before COVID, I've always had, you know, hand sanitizers in my bag because it's just needed. I mean, especially if you're in a clinical setting, you constantly you know, either wash your hands or sanitize your hands. And also I've got hand cream because as well as washing your hands a zillion times during placement, my hands get really, really dry, like so, so dry. So yeah, I definitely need to carry hand cream with me or else I'll have ashy hands like literally the whole day. I'm even curious now if my hands are dry. So next, I do tend to take my spray or body spray. So next I've got a power pack. I actually got this power pack from the Royal College of Pathologists. And guys, this is like the most handy thing ever. Like it was very thoughtful of them to actually give me. So I went to a summer school last year and it was at the Royal College of Pathologists. And obviously if I've got a power pack, I need my charger. So here, so this is my charger for both my phone and my iPad. Oh, next we've got earphones. I tend to bring either like a snack or a sandwich, just something simple to eat on placement, um, especially sometimes when you don't have enough time or even on campus, sometimes you don't have enough time. So sometimes it's very handy to like have like a fruit or like a sandwich. So I tend to like snack a lot. So it's very handy if I carry a snack with me. For some reason, like when I'm really, really hungry, it feels like my brain doesn't function properly. So I definitely have to carry a snack just in case. So next I've got my iPad and gosh, this is like an amazing thing to carry because it's just easier. Um, I it makes carrying my ipad means i can have like less books with me and i do have for example the top 100 drug book on my ipad vnf app and other apps i'm actually going to do a video um regarding like the different apps i use or maybe it might be up already on my ipad for example let's see oh guys look at my front screen oh wait so today's verse of the day says Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrews chapter 13, 8. Amen. So let me show you guys my front screen. Isn't this it? Lastly, I've got my laptop. So this case that I've got, I actually got from Amazon and I really love it. I feel like I've seen quite a few people in this case actually. I like the fact that it's black and it's got these flowers on it. Sometimes I do leave my laptop at home, it depends, because it's a bit heavy carrying both your laptop and iPad. My iPad has literally what I need. But surprisingly, this laptop fits perfectly in this bag and you would think it wouldn't fit. Let me show you guys. So, like it actually fits nicely. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the back. So look, it's got different compartments. So look, there's some zips here. Um, little like, you know, pocket areas here. Show you the bag all the way around here. And then lastly, I've got my glasses. So recently I got these glasses and I got Marc Jacobs designer. <laughs> so, if I'm honest with you, I never used to spend that much on glasses really because I don't wear it that much. But recently I decided to like, just spend a little bit more on glasses. So I tend to not wear it because I didn't like the way it looked. But now I got new ones. I got two new ones actually. I'll show you the other pair. But I still don't know if I like them yet. I'll show you them. Actually, maybe you can help me decide which one's better. So this is number one. Here. Like it's very different from my old glasses. And let me show you the next one. Here. So this is the other one. This has got like thicker frames. Guys, glasses are like so expensive. Okay, so guys, this is number two. The thing I hate about it is the fact that I can see so much reflections, like you can't actually see my eyes, like you're just seeing the reflections of like the window and stuff. That is the second glasses. <laughs> it 
But yeah, let me know which one you think is better. But anyways, guys, that's the end of my video. Usually, I'll just add other things that I sometimes have in the clinical handbook, book, which I would say here. I have that sometimes. It just depends on what kind of day it is or what kind of like rotation or what kind of like basically what I'm doing. And occasionally I might have a textbook with me. Generally, this is what I typically take to uni or placement. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you take to a placement. Let me know what you take to uni. And yeah, and let me know what videos you'd like to see in the future. I'm trying to be more consistent and post more videos often. So yeah, let me know what videos you'd like to see in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.